वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज अनदर न्यूज बुलेटिन फॉर यू विद न्यूज स्टोरीज फ्राम इथियोपिया एरटी एंड सुडान फर्स्टली ए स्ट्राइक्स आर बींग कंडक्टेड ऑन फानो फाइटर्स ऑन देयर कैंप्स इन द अम्हारा रीजन ऑफ इथियोपिया दो क्लैश बिटवीन फानो फाइटर्स एंड इथियो मिलट्री हैव बीन ऑन गोइंग फॉर around 3 months now but it's not that from day 1 a strikes have been conducted this is the second time that uh, ethiopian air force uh, came into play uh, first time uh, was when a strikes were conducted in north shore and now reportedly in the vicinity of kobo details for you सेकेंड लिव्य इसास की एरटियन प्रेजिडेंट क्लियरली अपोज पी एम आर बी सजेशन एट द समिट हेल्ड इन कायरो इजिप्ट सेवरल आफ्रीकन लीडर्स अटेंडेड द समिट विच आफ्रीकन लीडर्स वर देयर जस्ट फोर टू फाइव डेज अगो पी एम आर बी प्रपोज द सोल्यूशन एट एन इगैड मीटिंग अबाउट द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन सुडान but isas have worky today clearly mentioned the points which were raised by pmrb at igad summit in this summit isas have worky opposed pmrb and igad suggestions about how to resolve the conflict in sudan uh, did this uh, conference achieve anything which countries participated thirdly ethiopia uh and eritrea uh, have ethiopia and egypt have issued a joint statement pmrb is there in cairo to attend the summit uh, on sudan their talks have been held on uh, bilateral issues to and lastly eritrea uh, failed to stop the mandate of un special rapporteur around 24 hours ago voting was held at un human rights council where uh, 18 countries have voted in support of continuation of the mandate of un special rapporteur on human rights situation in eritrea uh seven uh, countries supported eritrea which seven uh, countries interestingly there is no african country which supported uh, the continuation of the mandate of un uh, special rapporteur on eritrea first live your first new story is from wollo north wollo kobo a town i reported in the previous video that heavy clashes went on for hours between fano fighters and ethiopian security forces clashes started last night and the clashes were in the outskirts of kobo city then clash is reportedly spread to kobo and nearby towns two people reported clashes along kobo to kobo robert uh, road zobal mountains if you have been following my views and news we mentioned zobal mountains several times in the past when tigray fighters were there in control of zobal mountains uh, and from there they were able to uh, consolidate and keep their control of kobo and kobo robert now reportedly fano fighters are in zobal mountains they are fighting their ethiopian national defense force members there too uh an important development is that uh, now ethiopian air force is being used against fano fighters a strikes have been conducted uh, since this morning Uh, though when fighting erupted it was uh, only heavy weapons uh, which were used by ethiopian national defense force later reportedly ethiopian air force uh, was brought to and it conducted a strikes that showed the gravity of the situation that showed that ethiopian national defense force suffered some losses on this front it's not one front but kobo kobo robe to gobie uh zobal these these are different uh, separate fronts it means that uh, east amhara fano fighters are operating in separate uh, factions they are just fighting in the form of one unit that is why a strikes on different targets 
fighting clashes ongoing in different places in North Wallo. It could be a major operation against East Amhara Fano of North Wallo, led by Mary uh, But so far, it seems that Fano fighters are defending themselves. It's not that Fano fighters launched a major attack on Ethiopian National Defense Force uh, positions in Wallo. It seems that Ethiopian National Defense Force uh, launched a major operation against East Amhara Fano. Uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force suffered some losses. It then resorted to aerial support. A strikes were conducted. Use of uh, air strikes, don't strikes is uh, another level of uh, escalation. Uh, in the last three months or so, uh, we only heard about air strikes conducted once against Fano fighters. That was in North Shore, I think. Uh, some don't strikes were conducted near Shore Orbit. Some locals reported, though we could not confirm the uh, it strikes from the ground in terms of material evidence, some ammunition, etc. Uh, but here, several residents are reporting. They are saying that heavy strikes are being conducted near Kobo. Fano fighters are defending and Ethiopian uh, military has started uh, a major operation in Kobo city against those who allegedly support Fano fighters. Dozens have been arrested in Kobo city in the past few hours. House to house searches are being conducted. We saw the same a few weeks ago when Mere Budajo's family, his uh, son were arrested. Dozens of his family members were arrested in Kobo and then extensive house searches were conducted in Kobo. Once again, same is happening that uh, house to house searches is being conducted, uh, youths are being arrested. Because uh, we have been hearing calls to block main roads in Kobo. And, and one road, intra-Kobo, intra-city road was blocked too reportedly. After that, Ethiopian military started an operation. Some Fano fighters also managed to enter Kobo. We uh, so, saw reports from some uh, Amhara news sources, Amhara journalists, that Fano fighters had taken control of Kobo city. No, I could not confirm that. And by the way, why would they take control of town cities in Amhara? They are not fighting in a foreign land. They are on their home soil. They enter cities, they have bases there, they retreat. Pattern, same. We saw that in uh, uh, Gojam. We saw that in Wagal Town. They enter towns, they get public support, they retreat. They withdraw to their bases. That is how foreign fighters are operating. They are not interested in holding town cities because if they start basing themselves in town cities, people will become vulnerable to strikes, to uh, firing from ENDF. People could be killed and foreign fighters could be under pressure to leave the town city. So it's not part of the strategy to be based in town cities and defend themselves from town cities. No, they enter town cities, get support, then they retreat. Uh, so, it's not that uh, Kobo has come under Fano control. It was reported by uh, some uh, pro Fano Amhara news sources. Yes, there is support for Fano. But since the Ethiopian military is conducting house to house searches in, uh, in Kobo, it means that it's not that ENDF is not there in Kobo. ENDF is there in Kobo, uh, uh, trying to arrest Fano fighters who are part of the people. It's easy for Fano fighters to hide themselves uh, in town cities. But they enter town cities when they have massive public support uh, and then they retreat. Secondly, viewers, Issa Sefu, key Iranian president, spoke today at uh, the conference held in Egypt. Egypt uh, managed to invite several top African leaders today, uh, Sudan's neighbors, uh, for a meeting to resolve the conflict in Sudan. And there, Issa Sefu spoke and he opposed uh, PMRB's solution. Uh, four to five days ago, PM Abi delivered a speech at an IGAD summit held in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. And at that summit, PM Abi proposed the idea of uh, establishment of a no-fly zone over Khartoum uh, and uh, withdrawal of artillery, deployment of uh, external African forces to uh, Sudan, to Khartoum. That idea was backed by other IGAD countries too, like Kenya. Uh, 
error tia did not attend or it was not uh, invited to attend that igad summit held in addis ababa on monday isas have worki today thanked uh, abdulal cc for holding this conference he said that policy of uh, iraqi government is that there should not be any external intervention in sudan yes uh, local uh, yes the collective efforts regional efforts can be done to uh, ensure peace and stability but no external intervention no fly zone no deployment of foreign forces african or not to the uh, conflict areas in sudan so he clearly opposed pm awi's suggestion today Uh, this summit held by egypt is not going to bring about any change though the statement uh, issued after the summit is being welcomed by both parties sudanese uh, military and rapid support forces egypt only managed to invite uh, and host some african leaders chadian president was there eritrean president to ethiopian pm uh, libyan head of state was there to uh, from central african republic to top leader was there from south sudan sel wakil was there so several african leaders uh, neighbors mostly of uh, uh, sudan they uh, uh, entered uh, egypt uh, and they attended the summit if you compare this summit with igad summit held in addis ababa on monday sel wakil did not participate Yibouti Ismail did not participate only PM Abi and Ruto other countries sent their uh, lower level uh, officials so in terms of participation of top leaders it was a success in terms of uh, proposing uh, a tangible solution no success only point uh, is that uh, this summit is proposing the idea of establishment of a ministerial level committee at the foreign minister level the committee will meet in charge and it will uh, chalk out uh, a plan to stop the war in sudan nothing is going to happen uh, through these uh, initiatives igad initiative egyptian initiative uh, talks in uh, chart by some tribal uh, military leaders so arabia us backed mediation in jeddah no tangible results so far presas worki clearly took opposition today opposed to ethiopian pm ab third viewers uh, joint statement by ethiopia and egypt today uh, the two uh, agreed to work in political cultural and economic fields and they agreed to resolve the stalemate over gerd in the next four months and they hoped the two hoped especially uh, egypt and sudan hoped that ethiopia would ensure that in 2022 2023 2024 filling of the dam good will not harm the water supply to sudan and egypt overall Uh, pm rb's participation in the meeting was a good development it will lead to de escalation of tension between egypt and ethiopia about filling of gourd ethiopia going to start filling of gourd in coming days uh, in 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 uh, september it was delayed for a month by the ethiopian government the government said that it wanted to ensure that the other countries uh, are not affected so it means talks will start now in 4 months they'll resolve their issues it means talks will start between egypt and ethiopia in coming days lastly viewers eritrea uh, still has un special rapporteur which eritrea never allowed to enter uh, voting was held at un human rights council around 48 hours ago uh, to extend the mandate of un special rapporteur of islam babaker who monitors human rights situation in eritrea since his appointment uh, as the special rapporteur eritrea never allowed the rapporteur to enter eritrea 
Voting was held at UN Human Rights Council session. 18 countries voted in support of continuation of the mandate of this special rapporteur. And out of 18 countries, not a single country is from Africa. All non-African countries, uh, 18 countries are all non-African countries. 21 abstained from voting, 1 absent, 7 said no, that mandate of UN Special Rapporteur must be terminated, which several, which seven countries supported Eritrea. Eritrea itself, China, Cuba, India, Pakistan, Somalia, Sudan. Uh, again, no African countries supported the extension of the mandate of UN Special Rapporteur. But uh, 18 votes in support of uh, the continuation of the mandate, that is why Abdus Salam Babakar is going to submit more reports on human rights situation in Eritrea in uh, coming months, I think, future.